Hello? So I met with cousin number 15. There are 64 marbles, which are all of different weight. You have got a common balance. The question is, what is the minimum number of weights required by the common balance to find the heaviest two marbles out of these 64 marbles? So you will have to weigh them among themselves and find out the heaviest two. In doing so, what is the minimum number of weights needed in the process? Friends, let's look at the explanation. It is a moderate, uh, tough question. You know, it is not very simple as well as it is not very tough as well. So first what we'll do is, we'll make groups, you know, this is marble numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 64. So in our first grouping, we will weigh 1 versus 2, that is my first reading. 3 versus 4, second weighing, 5, 6 and so on, 63 with 64. So how many weighings I have taken in my first process, how many number of weighings are there? Obviously I have taken 32 weighings, because these are 32 group of 2 each. And in every two there is exact one way, one versus two. Now when I say way, you know, you have to visualize common balance. Marble, marble one is on the left hand and marble two is on the right hand. So on that way, I will definitely come to know which of these marble is heavier, you know, which is going, the player is going down, that is a heavier marble. So let's say one is heavy, three is heavy, five is heavy, dot dot sixty-three is heavy, because we will know as it is after the operation which one is heavy. So let's assume for the sake of explanation, all odd numbers are heavy. So in my next grouping, I will take 1 with 3, 5 with 7 and so on, you know, 61 with 63. So this is, you know, again the next grouping basically. So how many readings again? Very simple, 16 readings. And again I will come to know 1, 3, which one is heavier, in 5, 7, which one is heavier and so on. So I will keep repeating the process. Next time I will take 8 readings, next time 4 readings, next time 2 readings and finally my dear friends I will take 1 reading when exactly 2 marbles will remain in the contention in the last step. So if I add every 32 plus 16 and so on, I definitely know this is 63 without even adding them. Why? This is another awesome concept. Whenever there are 64 players playing in a knockout tournament, I want to find the winner. How many matches will be played? The answer will always be 63. It is always n minus 1 if n players participate. Why? Because of awesome funda. To be one champion, n minus 1 people have to lose. And to make one person lose, exactly one match has to be played. So therefore, n minus one matches will be played to decide the winner among n players in a knockout tournament. So it is akin to that. In 63 reading, I will be able to find the heaviest marble. Now, some people in my matches, uh, as I told you, I train for cat. Some people in my matches, cat matches, say that the answer is 63, in which we will be finding the heaviest as well as second heaviest. What they say is that the person who is coming out here heavy and the second who is here is also is the second heaviest. Now this is a wrong logic. Please understand. Because in this you can only determine the heaviest. Let's say for our assumption sake, one is the answer. So here one is paired with let's say five. Here one is paired with let's say uh, whosoever that person is nine. Uh, here one is paired with what? If, if seventeen, whatever. I am just giving you an example. And let's say here one is paired with thirty-three. I mean just for the sake of this. So what I am trying to say is that some people say 33 is the second heaviest marble, which is not the case because for all you know the second heaviest marble can be some other person as well. It is not that this is the second heaviest marble because it has come in the last. So how to find? Now the awesome awesome funda is, which is the funda of this question, second heaviest marble will be the one who must have lost to the heaviest marble somewhere in the process. Think about it. Because if this is not the case, then what we are trying to say, we are saying that second heaviest marble has lost to someone else who is not the winner. So therefore, we have ourselves put in at least two people above the second heaviest marble. One is the winner, 
and one is a person who has defeated the second against Marvel, which is not a winner, which, which cannot be the case therefore. So in other words, the second heaviest marble will definitely be the one who must have lost to the heaviest marble in the process somewhere. In other words, we just need to check marble number one. How many players it has defeated in the process? It has defeated one, two, three, four, five and six players in the process. So just now, we just need to find out the heaviest marbles, heaviest marble, I'm sorry, in these six marbles. And I will take, as you have rightly guessed, I will take five more readings by the logic I just told you. Because I have to find the heaviest out of the six players. And they have not played among themselves any, any time before. So the main answer is 63 plus 5, 68 readings my dear friends is the answer in which I will be able to find the heaviest marble as well as the second heaviest marble. Let me repeat, the second heaviest marble will be out of these marbles which have definitely lost to one in the process. So in these six marbles, I will do five more readings to get the heaviest of them which will be the second heaviest marble. Thank you friends.